Megan Mattoon is more than a social media influencer. Yeah, she's a dancer, actress, comedian, choreographer, content creator, YouTube star, and host of her own popular podcast, Just a Tip. All that at the young age of 28. We're excited to have Megan Mattoon join us today. Hi, Megan. Hello. Thank you for saying 28 is young. Yes, no, Oh, it, it is, is young. Is. Trust yes, me. Wait is. till you get where we are. But listen, <laughs> you don't like the words uh, influencer. You like content creator. Why? I do. I feel like influencer kind of puts you in a box, and I like have so... I'm like an octopus with everything I do, and I want to reach wide reaching. And so I think content creator just kind of gives the right idea of everything that so one person can do. You right. Know? You have you have millions of followers and people asking for advice. How did you make this thing boom? Because so many people are trying to do this and yeah. trying to monetize this, and most people fail at it. How does it work? I, I wish I had the answer. <laughs> the only thing that I do know that works for me is being wildly authentic anytime that I can. Because there's only one. It's so cliche, but there is only one you and no one can do so the true. you thing the more than you can so that's the that's the forefront like integrity having fun and being authentic like that's how I've done it so you were a graphic designer first right I was so how did you get to be a YouTube star and I mean star <laughs> <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you but I do know that I flipped a coin in order to do a dance audition and I ended up getting the dance audition then flying to LA and then kind of deciding that I could write and direct and act and do all this other stuff that I didn't just want to dance right. a weird life yeah, but all on YouTube, though. I mean, like, yeah. I feel like YouTube, well, I sound like an old lady now. I'm like, I feel like YouTube is the next big thing. It's been a thing, yeah. but you really have made it work. Everybody can't make it work in the same way that you have. What advice would you give? I, I think consistency is super important. Just okay. like continue to hit them with what you think is best. So okay. like, believe in what you do and do it so much. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. crazy though because like in our generation, we're just a little bit older. In our generation, we were like, we want to do this when we grew up. We want to be an actor. We want to be whatever. We want to be a fireman. And now the number one job that yes. kids talk about is being a YouTuber. How? That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. This didn't exist when I was in college. Like right. I, I couldn't sign up for this class, but now it is an actual course. And, and this is full time it. for you. <laughs> I'm teaching it. This is full time for you. Yeah. And which you can crazy. make a good living doing this. Absolutely, which is uh, inane to think. Would you ever consider teaching a course? Yeah, I would actually love that. Yeah, <laughs> I think right. more universities should do that. Right. Well, you've traveled all around the world teaching chore choreography, so this is, dance is a big part of your life and, and stuff that you do on your channel as well. Right. Yeah, I, that's where I started, and I feel like every now and then, it's so funny, people don't even think that I dance sometimes, so that's how I got my bearings. And so just continuing to, you know, like, pay honor to your roots. Right, and so you have a podcast now? I do. Tell us about the podcast. Look how you light up when I say I that. I love it. Oh, well, it's also like you get to just talk to people and mm -hmm. it's, oh, that's all we want. We want connection, we want right. to laugh, and we want to be with each other. So the podcast is called Just A Tip and it's an advice podcast where I talk to a bunch of my friends, whether they're like comedians, actors, dancers, whoever, and give Basi it's like slant advice. It's real advice, except where it's just like, we're telling you the stories of how we messed up. And like, you can mess up if you want, but here's, right. if you don't want to follow our path, here's what we've learned. Right, you try to give advice. We have a segment called Pillow Talk, where we, we do our best to give advice. Yeah. You do your uh, best. Yeah. Hold on. So we have some, we have some, uh, we have some questions from, uh, from our viewers here. Here's a question from Phoenix, actually. It says, my friend is really good to me, but he always talks about his dog. How do I get him to talk about his dog less without hurting his feelings? We have a weekend getaway coming up, and if he talks about his dog the entire weekend, I will pull out my hair. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So first question is, do you want a haircut? Because those are expensive. You know, it might be worth pulling your hair out. But if you don't want that, then I would like, I would pick a a topic that he really doesn't like and then every time he mentions the dog then bring that up and he's like why are you always talking about stethoscopes and you're like whatever I do that every time you bring up your dog so like if you want to hear less about doctor stuff then don't talk about your dog it's actually there pretty you good go advice. right again, better than so what we much. came up with that was right off the cuff I like that all right uh, can we see that if you can we see that? If you want to be in the audience for Megan's live podcast, just a tip, there's still some tickets left. It's happening at Talia Hall in Bronzeville on Sunday night starting at 6 p.m. Just go to meganbatoon.com for more info.